In our last video, we managed to read in some images and see how we could look at individual pixels with a pixel reader from that image. Now we'd like to create a new image by writing values from that. So in order to do this, turns out that you cannot write to a general image. Instead, there is a type called a writable image. And to create a writable image, you can create a blank one. So if you just give a width and a height, it will create actually a completely transparent writable image that then you can uh, write things to. And you can do the writing by uh, with a pixel writer. And so the pixel writer has methods to set the ARGB or to set color or to set whole collections of pixels. Writable image is a subtype of image, so you can use it any place that you want. But you can also make copies of images either by making it use with a pixel reader and a width and a height, or a pixel reader, an X, a Y, a width and a height, and that will just uh, you use a section of the image. So let's go into our code and let's. What we've done here is we created an image, and right now we're giving back an image view with that original image. Instead of doing that, what I would like to do is make a new writable image. So new writable image that is copied from the pixel reader, PR, and it has a width and height equal to the original image. And img dot height. So it'll be the same size. And I'm going to use that writable image for the image view. So if we run this now, this should show us the same image that we had before, uh, assuming I did this correctly. Image width, image height. Oh, those width and height are properties. I was afraid that might be the case. So we need to call value or apply on them to get their actual values. Found double, required int, yes. So those give us back doubles, but the size of an image actually has to be an int. So then we call to int. And there we go. So this is the same image that we had before, no change at all. But what I would like to do is I would like to get a pixel writer well, uh, pw equals wimg dot pixel writer. And then I'm going to run through every pixel, let's say on the left half of the image. So I want i to go from 0 until img dot width dot value divided by 2, mm, dot 2 int, divided by 2, and then I want j to go from 0 until img dot height dot value dot 2 int. So that will run through all of the, if I use i as the x coordinate and j as the y coordinate, that will be all the pixels on the left hand side of the image. And I want on that pixel writer to do, uh, what should we do? So we can, with our pixel writer, we can set an age or ARGB or set a color. I want to set a color and have it kind of based on the original color. So let's actually val c equals pixel reader dot, I believe it's get color. We can check this in the API. So our pixel reader has a get color, which will give us back a color value. And we'll do that at ij. And then I want to take the pixel writer and I want to call set color at ij so at the same location I want to give it a somewhat modified color so color 
and uh, let's set I'm going to pull out the red part but make it so comma 1.0 so I'm using the red channel on this to determine the color of the whole thing so it's it's basically it's, it'll be a grayscale but it scales as the amount of red in the original image uh, I apparently do not have an import for color which is in the paint package and there we go so we have the full color side of the image and here we have altered it and we've made it so that it's a grayscale it happens to be a grayscale based upon the red uh, channel in the image it's probably hard to tell uh, for this things that were more red should appear as as uh, brighter colors but they would also have to be redder and brighter things that were completely blue uh, would wind up being dark or completely green would wind up being dark anyway um, so that demonstrates to you the use of a writable image and a pixel writer because the writable image is an image we can use it to make things like image views uh, we can use it any place that we would otherwise want to use an image um, so you have the ability to to write stuff one of the things that I like to do a lot of times is to create a little uh, game of, it's kind of an older style game based upon the movie Tron for the old Tron light cycles and for that it's actually really helpful to be able to read and write pixels so you can create a single writable image and the writable image has the ability to get a pixel reader as well as a pixel writer from it. So you could use that in um, in whatever it is that, that you're doing so that you can manipulate individual pixels kind of dynamically.